Hello, I'm Michelle, and today we're going to be discussing the methods that you can use to form your LLC in Oregon. We're going to be covering the steps involved in starting your LLC, the forms that you're going to need, the naming requirements, and the five main steps you need to actually register your LLC. I'll also be explaining the importance of having a registered agent and a very key term known as piercing the corporate will. Now, if these terms aren't familiar to you, then I highly recommend you watch this video very closely. The lumber production of Oregon State is very famous. It accounts for around 10% of the total produced in the USA. Out of the total manufacturing done in the state, 33% is due to the forest and its material. Secondly, it thrives in agriculture. The state is famous for the production of hazelnut and blueberries. These rare products output is possible due to their ideal terrains that support different cropping systems. Out of the whole hazelnut produced in the country, 95% of the portion is Oregon State. You can start your Oregon LLC by three methods. Number one is that you can do it yourself, in which case you can choose to fill out the online forms or you can send it off via mail. Number two is that you hire a professional service to do it for you, which is the most easy method out there. We personally recommend Taylor Brands as one of the best services for this purpose. Number three is that you can go ahead and hire an attorney. Now coming to a very common question, but a very important question. What exactly is an LLC? An LLC is a hybrid business entity which combines a corporation's characteristics with a partnership or sole proprietorship. It separates your personal assets from your business assets and gives you personal asset protection. When you're starting off your LLC in Oregon, you mainly have to file your certificate of formation with the state and pay a filing fee of $100. For now, in this video, we're going to be discussing option number two primarily, and we're going to be placing emphasis on why you need a professional service to do it for you, because you have to make sure that you're doing your LLC work correctly. This is one of those things where you cannot afford missing out any of the information or have any misunderstanding. Taylor Brands is a really good and competent professional service that you can get because forming an LLC is not just filing the certificate of formation, but it's also deciding on a name, hiring a registered agent, creating an operating agreement, and obtaining an EIN. Now, all of these can be done under one roof with Taylor Brands. I'll be leaving the links in the description below. You can go there, you can check them out. We're now going to discuss in detail the five important steps that you must cover when you're forming your LLC in Oregon. The first step of starting off your LLC in Oregon is basically choosing your business name. Pretty simple, right? Well, before you start naming your business, you must know that the name should be easy to remember, available in the state, and it should follow the LLC naming guidelines. You can go and find the naming guidelines at startmylc.io. The four key things that you need to be aware of when you're naming your LLC is number one, your business name should be available and no other existing business in Oregon can share that name. Now, each business name is unique to its owner. Number two, LLC, a limited liability company, should be there as a suffix in the company name. Number three, you cannot use any name which may cause confusion or it could be misleading. Terms such as State Department, FBI, CIA, and so much more, they cannot be included. Now, number four is that terms like bank, university, attorney, and doctor, they can be added, but only after you fill out the additional requirements by the Oregon state government. If you do not wish to file your LLC right now, but you want to hold on to the name that you've decided, then you can reserve your LLC name for 120 days. What do you do to keep the name? Well, you pay $100 to reserve your name with the Oregon Secretary of State. The second and highly vital step to forming your LLC in the state of Oregon is to appoint a registered agent. Now, a registered agent is an entity that's going to be working and acting on your LLC's behalf. They're going to be re receiving all of the important paperwork and other official government respondents in Oregon. This is why you need a very competent registered agent for your LLC. You've got to make sure that the registered agent is a resident of Oregon or at least has a physical address over here. The business address is used as the LLC's principal address in Oregon. Most LLC formation companies also do provide registered agent services. Taylor Brands is a great LLC setup service. They provide registered agent services and also more other services at very reasonable price. Key thing to note when getting a registered agent is the importance of having a very legit one because in case of a lawsuit or if you get sued, the lawyer of the other party is going to know what is known as piercing the corporate will. Now, most people believe that they're setting up their LLCs for tax purposes, mm -mm. but the real reason for setting up your LLC is to limit your liability. What it does is that it creates a divide between your personal assets and your business assets. So if you're sued in your business, they cannot go after your personal assets. When you're sued, the attorney who's the one suing you is going to start looking for cracks in your LLC. Now, this is where they pierce the corporate will. The first thing that they're going to check is whether you have a registered agent, is the person legit, and have they been filing the paperwork? 
The third and another important step in forming your LLC is to file your certificate of formation. The Oregon Articles of Organization is a legal document needed to officially register your business with the Secretary of State. It costs $100 to file your formation certificate in Oregon. Now, the certificate of formation includes details like the name of your LLC, registered agent's name, address, employee details, and the structure of your company, whether it's member managed or manager managed. Before you start hiring your employees in Oregon, you should really know about the rules and regulations to avoid any issues in the future. We personally suggest that you use Taylor Brands to file a certificate of formation because they provide a very easy way to fill out the forms without any confusion or missing any of the steps. If you do happen to get stuck anywhere, all you have to do is go to the live chat, ask your questions, and they will respond. Fourth step is filing the operating agreement. What is an operating agreement? Well, it's an internal document that legally outlines the proprietorship and operating procedures of your LLC. Now, this document is vital as it ensures that all of the business owners are on the same page regarding how they operate, the business resolution, and so much more. This helps reduce future conflicts. When it comes to filing your Oregon LLC operating agreement, you don't need a very comprehensive one, but it is ideal that you have one that contains the details of your entire business operation. Now, it's recommended that it should be done using a professional service such as Taylor Brands, since they know exactly what to do and you won't have to worry about missing any of the details. The agreement template is drafted for a very small fee of $29. What is an EIN? An EIN is known as the Employer Identification Number, which is a nine-digit number given by the IRS to make it easier to identify the types of businesses for tax purposes and taxes in general. Now, the EIN is necessary for any active businesses or any form of businesses for that matter. An EIN is needed when your LLC starts hiring employees. To obtain an EIN, all you have to do is fill up the form. You can find it online, submit it there, or you can submit it by mail. All you have to do is send it off to the IRS. You can get an EIN assistant through Taylor Brands who can help you out with the entire process. I'll be leaving the links to all of the resources in the description below. Go there, check out which of the options fit your requirements. But for now, I'm going to be showing you how to file your forms using Taylor Brands. So this is the website for Taylor Brands. And as you can see on the website, there's option to set up your LLC and you can also design a logo, merch and the website itself for your brand in case you need one and haven't really gotten around to getting it. I'm going to go into form an LLC. Now choose the state that you're setting up your LLC in. Add your business name. You can check for the name availability here, which will save you a lot of time. Or alternatively, you can choose the method that I told you earlier by going to the business entity name search. Click on the type of services that you're offering. You'll have to pick which stage of your business that you're on, whether it's still in the idea stage or it has been set up and fully running. Choose what sort of income your brand will be. Choose whether your business will have a physical address to receive the documents and also whether there'll be a dedicated person there who's gonna receive these. Select the number of employees. Now you have to fill out the information for your business, like your name, phone number, email address. Now choose whether you want to opt for a registered agent or not. Taylor Brand charges $199 annually for hiring a registered agent. If you don't have one, then I highly recommend that you get one through them because the one thing you can't risk is not having a legitimate registered agent. You're gonna need an EIN like I discussed before for tax related purposes. If you don't have one or you're overwhelmed by the process required to get an EIN, then just let Taylor Brands do it for you. It's gonna cost you $99. Pick if you wanna file for compliance. It will cost you $199 when you do it through Taylor Brands. Here you can choose whether you want to have your business branding done. If you already have things like logos, domain, and a website, then just move forward. Select if you want to speed up the process. You can form the operating agreement using Taylor Brands. If you haven't made one already, or you are unsure of how to proceed with making the agreement by yourself. See if all the information that you chose and entered is correct and check the final billing as well. You can now proceed to pay for the service and that's all you need to start and form your LLC. Now that you've created your Oregon LLC, what else is left? You need a company business bank account and a business credit card. You need to file the Oregon business permits and licenses. You need to get general liability insurance and professional liability insurance, which is gonna cover your employees. You need to file the Oregon annual report every year. Now, I really hope this detailed video helped you out on how to start your LLC in Oregon. And I wish you the best of luck if you're starting off your business over there. Please do continue supporting our channel by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the little notification button. Thank you for watching.